Hey friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kaylee, and this is Foodie Friday. So this week has been a very busy week of mom, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I look disheveled just because my week has been that way. But I wanted to still show up here on YouTube and bring a very simple, super delicious recipe that actually was inspired by what I already had in my home. Normally I sit down, I get those creative juices flowing, and I brainstorm some elaborate recipe for you guys that I can present to you each. Friday, but to be honest, my week has been crazy. I've had zero time to grocery shop, so I just turned my refrigerator and took what was in there and made this recipe. So this recipe is very simple, can be whipped up in 25 minutes, and is great because it is a one pan dinner. You guys know I love simple. Since becoming new mom, I just like something simple, quick, and easy that I can throw together in my oven and not even think about it, and that's what this recipe is. So this week we're making chili lime salmon with crispy Brussels sprouts and roasted potatoes, and I am so excited about this recipe because it's simple, quick, and so delicious, something that you can throw together and the entire family will enjoy. If you are not a seafood fan or you have a picky eater on your hands, you can always swap out the salmon for chicken, and this recipe works great with that as well. As always, I created this recipe with healthier and ingredients that you can feel good about eating. So this recipe is dairy free, it is gluten free and paleo friendly. Before we get into this week's recipe, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. To kick this recipe off, you're going to line two baking sheets with foil and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. The first thing we're going to do is chop up some potatoes. The great thing about this recipe, it is very versatile and you can make it as large or as small as you want it. We're a household of three, but we only have two individuals that chew food. So I'm just making enough food for Brad and I. But if you have a large family, you can chop up as many vegetables as you like for this recipe. So I'm just chopping up a few gold potatoes. I'm kind of quartering them just because these are small and medium sized potatoes. But I like to chop mine small enough that they can cook rather quickly in my oven. Essentially, you can use any potato that you prefer. If you like red potatoes, you can use red, you can use a sweet potato, you can even use russet potatoes. But either way, chop your potatoes up so that way they are about one inch cubes. And then we will toss these in some olive oil and place them on our foil lined baking sheet. The reason you need two foil lined baking sheets is because you're going to be using one for your vegetables and one for your fish. Once I've placed my potatoes on my baking sheet, I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil. I'm using about one tablespoon and then I will toss to coat. To season my potatoes, I just used some garlic powder as well as some onion powder. I used about one half teaspoon of each and then I also used some salt and pepper. I used about one fourth teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. If you have a larger family, just double the seasoning. It just depends on how much you are preparing. Next, we're going to be chopping up some Brussels sprouts. If you're not a fan of Brussels sprouts, you can use any other cruciferous vegetable for this recipe. So you can use cauliflower, you can use broccoli. Another great combination will be doing a broccoli and carrot medley. You can also use green beans um, to roast in your oven. But either way, chop whatever vegetable you are using up and add them to the same pan that you have your potatoes on. If you happen to have a larger family, you can always use two separate pans for your veggies and then pull them out and pop your fish in last minute. The vegetables will stay hot while your fish cooks because it only takes a few minutes for this fish to cook in your oven. We have the same situation going on with our Brussels sprouts that we do with our potatoes. We'll lightly drizzle them with some olive oil, toss them with our hands to coat, and then season with some salt and pepper. I used about one fourth to one half teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper on my Brussels sprouts. And then I proceed to lay them face down or cut side down on my pan so they will roast and get really nice and crispy in my oven. Once your vegetables are all spread out into one nice even layer, go ahead and pop these in your oven at 425 degrees and allow them to cook for 30 minutes. You'll do this before you place them in the oven with your fish just because they will take a little longer than the fish to cook and you want everything to come out at the same time nice and hot. Mm -hmm. 
while our vegetables are cooking, we're going to prepare our glaze for our salmon. So you're gonna need two teaspoons of honey, as well as one clove of garlic. I use just pre-minced garlic in a jar, but just press one clove of garlic. You'll also use two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, so about one half lime juiced. You'll mix these ingredients together, and then you'll be using a seasoning blend of one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one half teaspoon of sea salt. Next, you'll just whisk all of these together, add the zest from one half of your lime, and then we will glaze our salmon on all sides. I put a very thick layer on two pieces of salmon. If you have more salmon, just double this recipe, but I lather this on quite thick, and then I will roast this in my oven at 425 degrees for about 15 to 25 minutes. All right, friends, our salmon is out of the oven. My whole entire house smells delicious. This is such a great recipe that you can share with the entire family. And it's something that is so simple, but nobody will know it. It's full of flavor, very filling, and packed with healthy ingredients. If you enjoyed this week's recipe, be sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to my channel so you never miss a recipe. If you are new to the Measure Me Whole community, be sure to leave a comment below so I can say K. Hey. I look forward to getting together next week where we cook another nutritious and delicious dish. All right, you guys, see you next time.